but you've got people of all races like coming together and and helping shape this from the ground up so now you got little white kids growing up with black idols and you got black kids growing up with white idols and you got it's just this whole mixing pot nothing has brought more races and more people from all different walks of life together than hip-hop no music has done that I don't it's the truth that's the truth you know Eminem, he is spitting a lot of knowledge right now. And one of the main things that I like that he just said is that, you know, in this so-called, I guess, if you want to say house of hip-hop or the way we like to term it, this house of hip-hop. But in this hip-hop, in this culture, you know, we've got a mixed pot. We've got several different races and people that have built this up. White, black, Hispanic. There are so many people that have contributed and, and still is in this hip-hop. No other, and what did he say? No other genre, no other music has had the ability to bring so many different people together. I mean, think about it. I mean, you think of country, you think of jazz, you think of rock, you think of gospel, you think of all these different music, but no music like hip hop has brought in, has expanded its territory amongst everyone. You think of you think of gospel music, it is exclusive for a different, for a certain, you know, group of people. You don't see Hispanics and people from, you know, UK and everywhere. I mean, hip hop has managed to do something that no other music has done. And, I, and that's exactly what Eminem is put, hitting on, on his, in this opening. I mean, let's reflect on just who's in this house. Not just blacks, not just whites, but everyone is playing a role. This whole mixing pot. Nothing has brought more races and more people from all different walks of life together than hip hop. No music has done that. I don't think anything has done that as much as hip hop has. So, in the same token, I can understand the frustration being that, you know, damn near every form of, of music. I want to stop right there because now that Eminem brought that up, you know, I think that it's clear that he's saying and he kind of getting to the point like I mean although he's not saying it but just the fact that he point put it out there that we got all these people in here working is basically like he's saying like Lord Jamar like your Nick and everyone else you know that's race baiting why are you guys worried about who's a guest or not I mean if I'm sitting here building if someone is sitting here building up a house like literally Like, literally, taking brick by brick, just steady building, building and building up a house. Why is someone else in the ear saying, hey, I see you building and making this better. But remember, remember, you just the guest. You got to leave here. Like, no, I mean, it don't make sense. Let them build. Let them continue to create and make this place better, better. Why are you in their ear? Why is it so important for you to acknowledge? I mean, you spending your time, you're not helping building. You're spending your time in their ear talking about they got to go after they get done building. I mean, it, I, I just feel like he's trying to say that we're spending way too much time thinking about and arguing about the wrong things. 
when hip hop has done something that no other genre has done. We should be proud. Not just blacks, not just whites, but we should be proud with how far we have taken hip hop from its. Uh, yes, we have to respect those that have originally laid the foundation. But also, we got to respect those that are constantly building on and making this thing better because we have done something in hip hop unlike anything before. I think that's a big message right there. Now I keep these I keep these bricks on my flower pot right here <laughs> on my front yard so they just happen to be there but let's 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 go period was created by black people so go back to the book. you got frustration being that you know damn near every form of, of music period was created by black people so back starting to get some attention but then along comes Elvis and people are acting like oh my god I've never seen this before you've seen it before but you might not have seen a white person do it to this level so now he sells the most records and people are calling him the king of rock and roll right I'm gonna stop right there because Although he's talking about Elvis and whatnot, but you can definitely tell what he's really getting at, you know, looking beyond the words. He's talking about himself here. You know, yes, you know, black people, they were rapping, and you know, and they were breakdancing, beatboxing, graffiti. They were doing all of this. And then, you know, a white person come along, and he's speaking of himself right now, although he's using Elvis as a projection as a metaphor um but not even a metaphor but it's something that happened um uh he's like but then you got this white dude that comes in that's doing all the same thing and even better and selling more and um let's go on so now he sells the most records and people are calling him the king of rock and roll right Notice how he said people are calling him the king of rock and roll. He's making that distinction that not Elvis, not me. M's not, I'm not calling myself, but, you know, people are calling him because he sells the most records and he's doing it bigger, bigger and bigger. And he sells the most records, so he to a point where people are calling him. It's almost as if it's Eminem is kind of letting, you know, all the haters know, look, because of my accomplishments, because of what I've done, you know, people have deemed me. Pe the people have deemed me, you know, you know, the the um this king. Or it, you know, this their people in their opinions. I didn't self title myself. All right. He sells the most records and people are calling him the king of rock and roll, right? But on the flip side of the coin, if I'm a black kid growing up in, let's say, the 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever, right? And I'm looking on TV and nobody looks like me and it's very stereotypical and I'm looking at fucking, I'm looking at toys and, and everything is white. The fucking action figures are all white. The, the fucking superheroes are all white. Like, maybe there's one or two uh, black superheroes mixed in there with mostly white. I don't know how I grow up and not have a chip on my shoulder. Hmm. On the other flip side of that coin... Let's stop right there. We, I don't know if you all are seeing what Eminem is trying to say right now, but he's trying to say, actually, it's weird, but in a way, he's actually saying, like, now, the thing is, is that I understand why people may have a chip on the shoulder about me, about, you know, not just me, but about, you know, when someone comes in and do it a little bigger and better than yourself, that doesn't look like you. That's not like the original. 
like you've been used to. You don't always grew up, you know, you know, around this and you always felt like, you know, rap and black were together and then someone comes in and do something different. I understand you would have a chip on your shoulder and feel a certain way, especially when everything around you and it feels like it feels like it's a attack on your culture or your color because everything the little toys the little soldiers are white everything and i can understand that i think he's getting to the point where letting them know that i can respect the chip but there's no reason to disrespect you know because this person is coming in doing the same thing. Coin. We don't get to choose our parents. We don't get to choose what color we're born. Mm. It's more about at that point it becomes you're born here, you are, you're what color you are, you're what nationality you are, and then it's what you do with it. Right? And there you go, and there you have it. And there there's where Eminem is getting. I almost can hear and kinda know what Eminem is gonna say in this interview, but what did he just say? He said that um, hey, we don't get to choose what color we're born. You know, we're born here and we've got to work with whatever we have. Basically, Eminem saying, look, I understand your frustration or whatever, and I can understand your chip on your shoulder that you may have. No need to disrespect, but the thing is, is that me, I didn't get to choose who I am. I didn't get to choose my color. We don't get to choose our race. We don't get to choose our, you know, we don't get to choose those things. The only thing we get to choose is what we do in life. Hey, to make a difference. To make a difference. That's the only thing we get to choose. The only thing we get to choose is the difference we're going to choose to make inside of this house of hip hop, inside of our life inside of the body and the race that we were given we can choose to be negative and racist and bitter at at different cultures why would you want to spend your whole life why would you want to spend your whole hip-hop life mad at someone's color but once again like you said you know you don't get to choose color, so why be mad at it? I think it's the message. Why be mad at something simple as color when you don't get to choose that? Just build, just work, just make this better. Look what we have done for hip hop. What a perspective. I look forward to the interview today. I like to know what you all think. As always, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hey, I do.